Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're having a wonderful day. If you're new here, my name is Neve, and it would mean the world to me if you would stick around. In today's video, I am going to be unboxing my October box from Books That Matter with you, which is very exciting. So I'm not going to ramble any further. I am just going to start. So this is the packaging for the box as usual. This is their new packaging. I think this sort of box design and stuff started last month. It's very pretty. I really like the shade of green that they've picked. I think it's gorgeous. When you open the box, it looks like this on the inside. Um, it says books that matter in pink and then the green writing on it is like other important things that the books that they put in their boxes do, like inspire, empower, enlighten, that kind of thing. Uh, it's very pretty, it's a good design. Uh, and then the contents of the box are covered in this pink tissue paper with a wee sticker that says books that matter on it. I'm just going to do the sticker down here because I just know I shouldn't attempt it one handed or I'll make a mess. So this is what the inside of this month's box looks like. I am going to find a little uh, newsletter so I can tell you what the theme of this month is and then we'll have a look at the other contents of the box. This month's box theme is called Earth is My Sister and it is all about ecofeminism and taking care of the planet uh, which is very exciting and also very important. Uh, inside the newsletter uh, that comes with every box is like a bit about the author that um, has written the book that's in the box. There's always lots of book recommendations and recommendations for other things related to the box. So like in this it'll probably be things like veganism and being sustainable, that kind of thing. Uh, and sometimes also like a little bit about the other products that come in the box because there's always like goodies that come in it as well and yeah so I recommend that if you get a Books That Matter box you have a look through these and don't just get rid of them because there's some cool stuff. Let's have a look at the rest of the stuff that's in the box. We'll start with the book because that's obviously a focal point uh, and this month's book is How Beautiful We Were by Imbolo Imbu? I'm really scared I've said that wrong. This is the book here. It's very, very pretty. It's a gorgeous cover. I'll bring it up closer so you can get a proper look. Uh, and the blurb for this book is Set in the fictional African village of Kosawa, this is the story of a people living in fear amidst environmental degradation wrought by an American oil company. Pipeline spills have rendered farmlands infertile. Children are dying from drinking toxic water. Promises of cleanup and financial reparations are made and broken. Left with few choices, the people of Kosawa decide to fight back, but it will come at a steep price, one which generation after generation will have to pay. How Beautiful We Were is a masterful exploration of what happens when the reckless drive for profit coupled with the ghosts of colonialism come up against one community's determination to hold on to its ancestral land and a young woman's willingness to sacrifice everything for the sake of her people's freedom. That sounds so good. It sounds like a book that is going to be like interesting and entertaining to read but also like really important and moving and I'm very excited to add it to my TBR and read it. The cover on this is again I just feel like I have to mention stunning. Um, it's a good size book as well it's about 350 pages uh, but the pages are pretty crammed full of text which I think isn't as common as it used to be like having really small margins and stuff but uh, it's quite aesthetically pleasing to open this book and see how it's laid out so um, that has made me more excited to read it. I'm assuming you could probably buy this book elsewhere if you're not interested in um, getting a subscription box but the rest of the stuff in this box so far looks very cool so if you are interested in reading this book maybe consider buying the October Books That Matter box before it becomes unavailable. Moving on, let's have a look at the other stuff that comes inside. The next thing is this 
excerpt or essay? Is it, I think this is like an excerpt from a book by Asia Barber, Asia Barber, called Consumed, the need for collective change, colonialism, climate change and consumerism. This sounds very interesting. I think this is a lot to do with like the fashion industry because the woman who wrote this is a stylist as well as an author. So I think this is a lot about fashion sustainability and how consumerism is like allowing the fashion industry to be such a leader in um, causing climate change. So I'm very excited to read this and hear and learn about it from the perspective of someone who is in the industry and is seeing it actively happen because it's obviously a much more educated perspective than I have. Uh, so very excited to read this. The next thing uh, in this are these reusable cotton pads. They feel amazing. I, I've bought reusable cotton pads before, or my mum has, and I've, I hated the way they felt on my skin. I thought they were really rough, but these are so soft. Like, that is amazing. These are from Tabitha Eve. There's three in here. They're eco-friendly, made in the UK, plastic free and they're biodegradable which sounds pretty cool uh, and I think you can just shove them in the washing machine with your stuff maybe put them in one of those wee wash bags that you can buy just so they don't get lost because I feel like these are the kind of things that would disappear in the washing machine uh, and then leave them out to dry don't tumble dry them pretty cool they feel amazing like I really cannot emphasize enough I'm gonna open them how good these feel in my hand. Sorry, there's a squirrel. He see me looking that way. It was moving very fast. Um, this side is like latticed and it's like a little bit rougher. And then this side's like kind of rug-like and it's, uh, it's very nice. So if you're looking for some uh, reusable makeup removers, definitely look into these. This pack of three, I don't know how much they would be not in the box, but it feels like a worthwhile investment either way. Uh, and if this is a driving force, these are Ella Watson approved. She spoke about these in a video. I'm sure it was like a what's in my bag or something like that. I, I have a really distinct memory of getting the email about this box coming and then mentioning that these are Emma Watson approved. So there you go. The next thing in the box is this lip balm from Sense. It's got jojoba oil in it, I think. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to find the ingredients. I'm not sure. I think it's jojoba and it's vegan, which is great. Very pretty. The thingy that it comes in there, I'm trying to open it there. The, if you can see it there, the packaging, oh, I cannot believe I'm doing the, the beauty influencer thing, oh, it's not working, uh, is like paper and you just like push it up with your finger, put it on and then it like pops back down and you just put the lid back on. Um, it's very soft. It definitely feels like it's got like a coconut oil or that kind of oil in it because it's got that like like, you know what coconut feels like when it's just not quite melted yet? That's almost what it feels like when you just first go to put it against your skin and then it like bams in really nicely. I'm very excited to use this. I would put it on my lips just now, but I've got about three layers of stuff on and I don't really want to stain it. So um, hopefully I really enjoy this, but it, um, oh, it doesn't really smell of anything actually, which is probably good because I think sometimes like Carmex and all that can be really overpowering. Very excited to use this. It looks so small, but I don't know if that's just because I'm sitting so far back. Uh, but yeah, next up, we have this bookmark that says, destroy the patriarchy, not the planet. On this side, it's like pink and blue. Very, very pretty. And then on this side, bam, green. I love a good bookmark. I said this before, I feel like you can't go wrong with having too many bookmarks, especially I have a habit sometimes of like starting a book 
and then being like mm, I want to finish this but not right now I want to read something else so I'll like leave the bookmark in it and put it back on my shelf so it's always good to have spares because they're everywhere <laughs> uh next up we have hibiscus tulsi and elderberry tea from kib i'm not a huge fan of herbal tea but i always try herbal teas that i'm given because i i'm convinced one day i'll have to find one that i like and hopefully this is it i don't like a lot of herbal teas tend to have honey in them and i hate honey i'm really not a honey fan i don't like the way it tastes i don't like the way it smells it gives me the fear uh but there's no honey in this so and i like lemon tea so it's a good sign but yeah uh and the last thing in this box and something that i'm very intrigued and excited to try is this oat milk chocolate from hip this i think this is just like plain oat milk like i don't think there's other flavors in it which is exciting uh and this is vegan the cardboard is completely recyclable and the stuff that comes inside of it like the tin foily type thing is compostable there's less sugar in this than in your average bar of chocolate uh, and the ingredients to make it are ethically and sustainably sourced which is exciting i'm pretty sure it is made in britain as well because this is a uh, well, it's made in the eu I'm surprised we can get a hold of it the way things are going just now <laughs> But yeah, I'm going to just try a bit. Uh, this is like the one thing I feel like I can just try for you right now. So this is the plasticky bit that comes inside. But uh, this is apparently compostable. So it's not like... Oh, it's broken. Oh. It's apparently not like proper plastic. Uh, I'm just going to open it now. I've never had chocolate before that's been made with anything other than like normal milk or it smells like dark chocolate i think it's maybe a little bit too dark chocolate for me like there's a very high cocoa percentage it's too strong for me but it is very tasty. I just couldn't eat a lot of it, I don't think. Um, and I think I'd enjoy it a lot better if I could eat it with a cup of tea <laughs> because I like to dip my chocolate into my tea. I've admitted it. I didn't think that was weird at all until I went away for my birthday and I was sitting dipping a twirl into my cuppa and everyone was like, what the fuck are you doing? And I was like, eating my twirl. So uh, if you also dip chocolate into tea, I like you but anyway this is very tasty i just i'm used to very weak chocolate but i think if i savored it i could get on very well with this i wonder what other flavors they have because i like i like a good caramel chocolate like dairy milk caramel or galaxy caramel whatever so maybe i'll have a look into their other flavors because i'm very intrigued by the idea of oat milk chocolate i don't know why but yeah also the packaging this company has is incredible i'm inclined to buy more just because it's so fun to like be like look at my chocolate but anyway that is everything that comes in the october book box from books that matter i hope that you enjoyed watching me unbox it thank you for being here if you enjoyed today's video uh it would mean the world to me if you would like this video or if you're feeling especially generous subscribe to my channel i'll see you next week Bye.